And now on behalf of all of us here at Jazz Standard, please welcome to the stage, Travis Sullivan's The Orchestra. My name is Travis Sullivan. I am the leader of the B Orchestra, which is an 18-piece big band that plays the music of Bjork. Her music seemed to me to be really tailored towards improvisation and being able to work with that. And I wanted to paint a really big sort of sound kit, so that's why I used the big band. But I just love Bjork's music, and I, I uh, think that she is a visionary composer. It's really interesting when you have jazz, and not just jazz, but like classically oriented big band swing jazz, approaching a music as pop driven and, and groundbreaking as Bjork's music. I just think that that's a good bridging of gaps uh, between pop music and classical jazz. So I think that's what, you know, Travis is doing here. He's continuing that tradition. He's taking the music of today, which is, you know, Bjork is a prominent figure of today, and transforming that into the jazz format, which makes it very accessible. I can be sincere and say I like them. One of the most challenging vocal experiences that I've ever had to tackle. You can't say no to hope. You can't say no to happiness. It's all over my range. It's from the bottom to the top, and it's, it's hard to keep it all together sometimes. Hyperballad, and that was back in 1998. I didn't really change that much, you know, from the original. This is the chord progression. Instead of 4-4, four, four, I put it into 7-8. So the groove in the chorus now is this. that I was talking to told me about them and invited me to Joe's Pub one night to see them and it took me like 10 minutes to figure out that there was something happening there. When we were recording the record, it was such a seamless process. Jason was there as the producer, of course, and he told me after the session, I was really prepared to have a speech for any one of these musicians that was going to give you a hard time. He's like, that didn't happen once. And that's a real testament to you and how they respect you and everything. But I also feel like it's just like I'm playing music with my friends. 
okay, you know, what is next? Um, oh, well, I have a tour next. Travis is a very talented cat. If he hangs in there, he'll thrive and make it through. It's the strength of the idea and the concept that sort of drove everything in making this happen. Doing what I did the other night at the Jazz Standard, that is living what I'm setting out to do. That is living my goals. This is what I want to be doing, and I'm going to take the risk, I'm going to take the chances necessary. Thank you very much. Stick around for the second set if you can.